Hey YouTube! Oi, I gotta do that again. <laughs> We're gonna try this again. Hey YouTube, this is Joey. Apparently it's too early in the morning for me to be doing YouTube videos because I am tired. But I just wanted to say good morning and I am officially on summer break and I thought to start that off I would do a kind of a video blog. Well, I wanted to talk about the fact that a lot of us feel the need when we go to parties to go in groups and herds and mob around parties with our friends and never talk to anybody new. On July 4th, I was at Subway getting lunch, waiting for a friend to meet me at the National Mall when I met a very attractive, very stylish young female who was standing behind me in line and as, we, as I went to sit down, I found a, a table with three spots and there was nowhere else free in the entire restaurant and so this girl she came over and she said, do you mind if I sit with you? I said, absolutely not. So she came over and sat down. And then one by one, her friends came over and sat down as well. She said, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. No, she said, I'm so sorry. I didn't warn you that I had all these friends. But they came over and sat down, which was fine. And we got into a conversation, found out we're all passionate about Latin America and um, come from backgrounds that are related to Latin America. And me being from the border, I have, you know, an experience that kind of talks a lot about the Mexican-American history of the United States and that was something that we all shared in common. And so the one of the one of the women who I was sitting with said, well can I get your phone number so that we can hang out later? I said, absolutely. Absolutely, you can have my phone number. And so we were going to get together later that day, but it was July the 4th, or you know, a, a few hundred thousand people between us, and I was like, no, we're not going to do this. But she texted me last night and said, come out with us to a place in DC. Um, and I said, absolutely. So I got my stuff together, I went to dinner with a friend, and then I uh, got on the metro and went to this um, club. And I met up with her there. Um, it was a little dramatic getting in, you know, that's just how it is. You have to wait in line and then let people in front of you if your friend's not there on time. But you know, you gotta let people live. And we got in, well no, I was waiting in line, and this is the part that's interesting. I met like six or seven people while I was waiting in line um, who were from different parts of the world and had different stories. One, one person is a uh, YouTube blogger, blogger. Her name is... I'm going to look it up really quick so that you can see it. Um, I want you to go and check her out because she looks like she's very interesting. Her name is Chapter Stacks, and Stacks is spelled S-T-A-C-K-S-S. -S. She was a sweetheart at the club. We got to talk a little bit, not a lot, but she was a very sweet girl. And then um, we exchanged YouTube information, so I'm going to be watching some of her videos. I met some people from Latin America, and I met a lot of people from uh, Maryland and, and Virginia and D.C. So the moral of the story is, don't go to a club and be afraid to branch out and meet new people, because those are the people that are going to end up probably being the people you want to know and the people you want to associate with, because when you go and you stick with your friends, it can get so boring, and you can get clingy, and they can get annoyed, and you can get annoyed, and the whole thing just turns into a, a bad night. I hope you guys have a great Sunday, and I will be making a lot more YouTube videos about Georgetown. I don't know if you can see my cup here. About Georgetown, including this, this uh, research symposium, summer school, and then I'm going to do some music videos. So I look forward to seeing you soon, and thank you for watching. Bye.